Hello guys and welcome to the first episode of my Football Manager Let's Play with FC Schalke 04 in the Bundesliga. Um, as you can see, FC Schalke, since about 1996, have been a bit up and down in the uh, Bundesliga, mostly finishing in the top half, but you know they've been a bit up and down. Um, and I'm, I'm, my aim is to really propel them onto the onto bigger and better things. As you can see, they were found in 1904, as is the FC Schalke 04. Um, they've got a four-star reputation. They're apparently rich financially, and we are in the UEFA Europa League this season after finishing sixth last year. And you can see they've got a very large uh, capacity stadium. Um, so yeah, I really think that they're a bit of a sleeping giant in Germany um, after the recent dominance of um, Bayern and. Um, Dortmund. So as you can see, and Wolfsburg are actually recently coming into it a bit more. Uh, as you can see, the f we're fifth favourites for the title here. Um, and basically what we're going to do today, and I'm just going to go through a couple of things uh, to do with Schalke, the squad, where we're going to be aiming. As you can see, we're in a very healthy position with 66 million uh, in our overall balance. Uh, profit loss this season is uh, supposed to be 71 million. And we've been given 14 million from the board. Uh, yeah, so here we go. So they actually haven't won the Bundesliga since 1957 to 58, which is a very long time. It's almost 60 years since they last won it. Um, they won the the cup in Germany, which is called the DFB Pokal, uh, as recent as 2010 to 2011. And the following year, they won the Super Cup 2011 to 2012. Shakhtar are actually best known for producing younger players, uh, such as Manuel Neuer and Julian Draxler, but there's also who have actually moved on in it. But there are also quite a lot of players at the team now who have a real big future at the club, really, in in football. What I'm going to be doing with the series is to push them on and also produce as many um, as many youth players as possible, get them in the first team. Um, as you can see at the minute. We have quite a young squad, but there's some issues with the squad. So as a farming in goal, uh, we're going to start off with Junior Casera at right back, with Matip and Ayan at centre back. And we're going to have a Dennis Ayogo as our left back. In midfield, we're going to have a John Jonathan Geese and Leon Goretzka. Leon Goretzka and Geese, both very young players who should be there for years to come. The right hand side is the player um, that I'm really looking forward to using, Leroy Sana. As you can see, he's only 19, already valued at 10.75 million. He's got all the physical attributes to play on the wing. Um, and he's also got all the, you know, he's got good dribbling, good finishing as well, so he could possibly adapt to that forward role. His technique's good. He's got his determination isn't the best, but I really think that he could be a good player for us. Anyway. Then we got Maximilian Mayer playing in the hole just behind. And yet yeah, again, he is a quality player. His finishing needs some work, but everything else, he's, he's a really good young player. Still only 19, so plenty of room to grow. Uh, then we got Maxim Chupamoting playing on the left. And Klasian Hunsla up front, who is getting on a bit. But as you can see on my defence, it's very. It's, it's not my best defence, that's the way to put it. As you can see, Benedict Howardes, who is our best defender. Also captain of the club. He's out for seven weeks to three months. Um, and then his defensive partner, or who it should be his defensive partner, Matty Anastasic, is also injured for eight to nine months. So he'll be out for the entire season. Um, and then there's one other injury that I want to talk about, which is Uchida, who is our first choice right back, and he's out for five to six months. So, yeah, it's not the greatest to start. So these injuries were already there before I came into the club. Uh, we'll have a little look in the under-19s. Look at the potential of any of these. Um, I, I honest, Tissingos has got the potential. Uh, we're gonna, we've already offered him a contract, but what we're gonna do is, when he signs that contract, we're gonna send him out on loan. Um, this guy looks a decent little player as well. Yeah, he's definitely got potential. What's my assistant saying on him? Uh, he fits in with the squad. He can play a couple of positions, but he's obviously got a long way to go. So anyway, 
Uh, that looks to be it in the under 19s and then in the second team. Uh, let's have a look here. Potential wise, we have Thilo Cajera, who can play centre back, defensive mid, and centre mid, which is obviously a good thing to have as he can play a plethora of good positions. Um, and he actually looks quite good in. He could suit a lot of those positions. He he could possibly be called up to the first team if we need him. But anyway, I think he's probably the best one in there. We've also got his target man, Felix Platter. Uh, yeah, he looks a good player as well. So we've got him in there. We've got, as you can see though, without me going through everybody, we've got some really good young uh, players in there. Um, but what we're going to look at now is just um, what we're going to do now with the team. So the tactic that I think we're going to play this year is like this. So it's 4-2-3-1. We're going to play with two ball playing defenders and two full backs on support. Obviously, a goalkeeper on defend. I'm going to have Jonathan Geese as the ball winning midfielder on defend, and Goretzka is going to be an advanced for advanced playmaker. Sorry, on attack, on support. Then we're going to have two inside forwards in Leroy Sane and Maxim Choupo-Moting, as they can both. As you can see, Choupo-Moting's got 12 finishing, and Sane has 13. We're going to have Mayer in the hole behind as an advanced playmaker. It'll just keep the player ticking, really. And then we have uh, Klassian Huntelaar as our advanced forward with 18 shoe, uh, finishing. So anyway, in the, as you can see, we have Pierre Image Hodgeberg on loan, who's going to be a good player as well. He's on loan from Bayern Munich. I actually tried to put in a clause into his contract, but they weren't having any of it. So you could buy him there. Um, I've been debating whether to bring in Donis Advi. I'm just going to call him back. But I think I'm going to leave him out on loan. Just because he'll definitely be getting first team football there, I think. Yeah, he's a key player there, which I feel like is what he needs at the minute. And so, that's what we're going to do at the minute. Kevin, there's a couple of players that might leave. Kevin Prince Boateng, he's on a lot of money. He's a quality player, though, but he is on a lot of money. Um, other than that, I'm thinking everybody else is going to stay. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that first episode. Um... I will come back at the end of the transfer window and talk to you guys to talk to say how it's been going. However, that will be in the next episode. So if you enjoyed that episode, I really hope you have. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.